many modifiers can be applied to containers, which allows us to apply the same modifier to many views at the same time. For example, let's say we had a V stack with four text views inside. I'll say there is Gryffindor, we'll do Hufflepuff, we'll do Ravenclaw, and then, so easy, then we'll end up, of course, with everyone's least favorite, Slytherin. Four here. We can apply a modifier here to change the font of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin by attaching font to all four of those things, or by attaching it directly to the VStack. I can say dot font dot title, and that'll apply to every one of those views inside the VStack. This is called an environment modifier, and it's different from a regular modifier that's applied to a view. Now, from a coding perspective, these things look and work the same. However, they behave differently slightly because if any one of these views wants to override that modifier, it can do so, and the child's version takes priority. For example, we could say, let's say your favorite is Gryffindor. We could say, well, Gryffindor has a font of dot large title. That one is different. The child's modifier takes priority over the parent's modifier. So again, font acts like an environment modifier. It'll flow downwards through the environment here, flow through all the VStack, but this child's version will override it with a custom font. However, not all modifiers are environment modifiers. For example, if I said I want to apply a blur effect with a radius of five to my V stack, it'll blur them all out. I can't then say, actually, you know, Gryffindor uh, blur radius zero, don't blur that one. That's not how it works. It's a regular modifier, so any blurs are applied to all child views immediately. And if you add another one to the child, it adds it to the parent. So I can have another five here, for example, that's fine, or another 50. <laughs> also fine, but I can't replace the parents. It becomes cumulative. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there is no real way of knowing ahead of time which modifiers are environment modifiers rather than regular modifiers, other than reading the documentation to look where it's mentioned. You know, if you go to font here and open up the quick help on the side, um, it will hopefully somewhere in here say this. Here we go. So font information flows down through the view hierarchy as part of the environment, unless overridden at the level of individual view or view container. And so you've got to read into it a little bit as you go. You'll get a sense of it over time, which ones add up, which ones let you override. Honestly, I'd still rather have them than not because it is so much easier to apply one modifier to a whole container at once rather than copying and pasting the same thing into multiple places.